And that's only that's only at eleven percent. Hold on. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, let me tell you about this th- this light. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is George Kushler, owner of GK Photography here in New Orleans. I am a working professional photographer for the last 27 years. I just made 27 years this October. Um, I am always, always looking for simple tools that can make my job a little easier. And as we are progressing into 2021, 22, 23, you know, as we're finally moving forward, lots of companies are entering the game of um, lighting. And I appreciate that because it gives me the opportunity to have something this small in my pocket. And all I got to do is press the button, turn it on. Woo! And I have light. <laughs> and yes, it is bright. So this is a company called Andyson. A-N-D-Y-C-I-N-E. What is that? Andyson? What comes in the box is the light itself. Now, um, a lot of things with shipping these days, they are not um, putting little power cords or little chargers in the boxes. One, to save you money because a lot of these cords everybody has around the house. So what I really appreciate about how you charge this thing is the regular USB-C slot that many of us have cords like this all over the place, especially if you are a Mac user like myself. And I can take the cord that charges my Mac, plug it into this thing, and it charges it super fast, which I love. Here's the cool part. Because this thing is in my pocket, I use it more. I just got me a new jacket. I love this thing. And uh, I had no idea. But when I got home, apparently it has 10 pockets. I'm like, wow, that's that's a lot of stuff you can put on you. Um, the funny thing is, these things are so light. They're so light. Having this in your pocket, you don't even feel it in your pocket. Okay? But when it's time to do details, like behind me, the rings, this image that you're seeing behind me, was completely lit by two of these. Now, let me show you. Yes, I have two. Okay. When you purchase one of these guys, it already has a little hot shoe on the bottom. Okay. A little cold shoe mount, which is perfect. Put it on your camera and go. Or handhold it and go. It w- okay, so GK, you, you have two. So how do you use that? Let me show you. You buy this little guy. It's a double cold sh- hot shoe mount cold meaning it's not hot like it's not like your flash like it's waiting for juice to go through it this does not allow that it's called a cold shoe mount and i got the double like this and this is all i do boom in pocket so when i take this thing out all i gotta do is turn them on i can make sure the numbers are the same color balance is the same power is the same and go. Look how much more light I have because two of these are on there. So what I love doing is I'll take this thing out of my pocket. I'll hand hold it like this and I'll get some images. But what I really enjoy doing is taking them both off of this. And I'm not sure if Andesine, um did this on purpose or not, but the design of these guys, I'm trying to get this thing off. The design of these guys being square. Watch. Yeah. They stand up. They stand up. And what's cool What's cool about that is when I'm doing the rings, when I'm doing uh, shoes, details, flowers, like you, you name it. Anything that you want to do that's maybe a, a detail that you want to highlight on its own. Um, having two of these is super awesome because I get to put them in one in the front, one in the back, maybe one on both sides. Maybe I'm going to handhold one this way. This is going to be my accent light. But it's in my pocket which is so stinking cool. So here's the cool part. You see these little notches that are on here? Can you see those little notches? They got these notches all around the sides. This is cool. You ready? They're made to go together. What? Yeah. Watch this. Come on. 
Come on. So if I had one, two, three, four, if I had four of these things, I could have all the way around here and put it on your camera and go. That's that's so cool. So the double mount that I have, you know, you know, now that I think about this, why am I even using that little mount? I could just do this. <laughs> I really could. And because they're both they're perfect squares, it doesn't matter where you connect them. They're always going to be even because they're perfect squares. And they're cool. So whether you have it on the side or you put it on the top of this side, the dimensions are all going to be the same. So, honest to God, I really could just do this and leave it in my pocket and go, which I may start doing. The um, double coal shoe mount that I have here, um, what's great about this is when this is on your camera, okay, or even if you wanted a single coal shoe mount. So this is the single coal shoe mount you can get. I call it a single because it's one piece like this but honestly you can still put three on here um now i gotta be honest the one thing that i'm not thrilled about what i what i don't like about the little single one like this is that when you put these guys on here there's no stopping point so <laughs> it goes right through i don't like that and i need to tighten this all the way which once you get it tight you're fine but you and I both know eventually they're going to get loose from you using it, maybe being in your pocket, kind of squishing around in your camera bag for whatever reason. But if you went to go work and this thing wasn't tight, it would it would fall off. But I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm not sure why you would even need this since these little guys can connect to each other. And one just needs to go in your camera anyway. So let me show you this real quick. So when you first turn this thing on, you can uh, mess with your Kelvin and all. Now, the same power button that you turn this thing on with, you can press it. You can press it, and you can totally change just the color if you wanted to. Look at this. i got to turn this thing way down because there's no way you're seeing these colors. Hold on. I'm going to go down to like 10%, 5%. The numbers that change is like the Kelvin, right? So here's your blue. And as I'm going down, it's going to go more yellow. Okay. It's purplish. How cool is that? Keep on going. Purplish to red to what's next? We're not going to go green, are we? What is this? Oh, it's pink. Orange. Oh, that's cool. Very, very cool. Yellow. <laughs> that is neat, y'all. And I'm just holding this button down right here, and it's just going through the numbers. And now it's back up to 100, 110, 20, 30. It's going through the whole spectrum. There's your green, there's your blue, there's your aqua. It's all on there. That's what an RGB light is good for. Now, if you press this button again, you get effects. This thing comes with effects. So it'll give you a little icon. Like This is like a police car, right? So you can use that as an effect in your video when you're doing any video work and you need, you know, you, you, there's your story where there's a, there's a cop car or you're filming a, an accident scene and he's like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have had that drink. So it, I waited a little bit to do this review because I am huge on uh, real usability in your work. And this, this little guy is very impressive. So if you're looking for something that is very affordable and compact and it works, this guy's awesome. Now, this I can tell you, in darkness, like this room, this thing is bright, okay? Is this thing good for daytime? No. Is this thing good for sunset and you want to get this on your person? Probably not. It's not that kind of bright. You would have to have it pretty darn close to them, but when you're doing, you know, working an event, you need a light on your camera, and you can control how bright or soft that light is. Most of your people you're videoing are within five feet, right? Um, these things are perfect. If you think you want to get LEDs for shooting portraits and stuff like that, uh, I would, would not actually go with this. But for everything else, this thing is pretty darn good, man. So look, I'm glad you're here. I want you to stay focused on your dreams. I have been extremely busy this season. Uh, 2022 should be very good for us as well. And uh, I just have a lot more coming to you now that I finally have my setup complete. Um, 
weddings that were rescheduled from 2020 we're doing right now we have it's holiday season for us so we're photographing a lot of families a lot of kids a lot of events it's a lot to do it's a lot to process and uh you know i finally got around to doing this video but how cool is this little thing all right you guys stay focused on your dreams i will see you in the next video peace